Hundreds of millions of rocks orbit the Sun within the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, but only some of them come relatively close to Earth. NASA classifies asteroids orbiting within 30 million miles of our planet as near-Earth objects. And inside this group, there are particularly worrisome objects. Those are so large and orbit so closely to our home planet that they could turn into a real threat to the world should a direct collision occur. At the moment, NASA is keeping a close eye on an asteroid named Bennu. It's a fairly large space object that might smash into our planet in 159 years. According to the experts, the asteroid, which was first spotted in 1999, is quite likely to drift into the orbit of our planet. If it happens, it might collide with Earth by the 24th of September, 2182. Asteroid Bennu is thought to be taller than the Empire State Building. If that hits our planet, the collision will release 1,200 megatons of energy. That's an enormous amount of energy that nothing built on Earth could produce. Scientists from NASA believe that during the flyby in the 22nd century, there's a tiny chance that the asteroid will pass through a gravitational keyhole. That's a region of space that might set the space traveler on a certain path, which could result in the asteroid crashing into Earth. Bennu flies by our planet every six years. It has had three close encounters with Earth in 1999, 2005, and 2011. These days, scientists estimate the chance of the asteroid hitting our planet by 2182 as 1 in 2,700. That's more than five times a person's chance of being struck by lightning. But even though Bennu's chance of colliding with Earth are quite low at the moment, the space rock has still been categorized as a, quote, potentially hazardous asteroid. All because it might come as close as 4.65 million miles from Earth. That's the reason why it's also classified as a near-Earth object. Bennu is a carbon-rich asteroid that was formed in the first 10 million years of the history of the solar system. That's around 4.5 billion years ago. No wonder this space body holds precious clues to the origin and development of the rocky planets of our solar system, which are, as you recall, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Even better, it may contain organic molecules, similar to those that are crucial for life to evolve. In 2020, NASA's OSIRIS-REx managed to briefly touch the surface of the asteroid. It collected some samples and propelled off the space rock afterward. For NASA, it was the first mission of this kind. But it won't probably come as a surprise that Bennu isn't the only asteroid we should worry about. Asteroid 99942, Apophis, is another space body we'd better watch out for. It's a near-Earth object about 1,100 feet across. It was discovered in 2004, and at first, it was identified as one of the most dangerous asteroids ever detected. Ooh. Apophis gained notoriety very fast. It was believed to pose a serious threat to Earth. Experts predicted that it would come uncomfortably close to our planet in 2029. Luckily, after a more careful examination of Apophis and its orbit, astronomers concluded that there was no risk of the asteroid colliding with our planet for at least a century. The risk of an impact in 2029 was ruled out completely, as well as the potential impact that could be caused by the asteroid's close approach in 2036. Interestingly, until March 2021, there was a small chance of a collision in 2068. But then, Apophis made a flyby of Earth, and astronomers took this chance to use powerful radars to estimate the asteroid's orbit around the Sun more precisely. This allowed them to rule out any impact risk for at least the next 100 years. Now, the reason why such discoveries make us so worried is that even a relatively small asteroid, the size of a house, can wreak havoc upon colliding with our planet. And if an asteroid is larger than 0.6 miles across, astronomers call it a planet destroyer. The impact energy released by such an asteroid after striking Earth could be devastating. That's why knowing where such asteroids are and in what direction they're moving is crucial. The problem is that our capability to protect the planet from asteroid impacts is not top-notch yet. If such a catastrophe was about to occur, we would need some time to prepare, because an asteroid collision is no joke. 
Probably the most well-known asteroid impact site is the Chicxulub Crater. It's the evidence of the terrifying collision that led to the extinction of dinosaurs. Strangely, this crater isn't very visible, but some others are. For example, Behringer Crater in Arizona, which is also called Meteor Crater. It looks rather blood-chilling when you think about the collision that led to its appearance. In any case, we now know that space rocks hit not only the Earth but also the Moon, Mercury, and Mars. No rocky planet in the solar system is safe from asteroid impacts. That's why we have an entire scientific enterprise whose goal is to find and catalog the asteroid population of the solar system. Now, it might sound a bit scary, but there are around 25,000 asteroids larger than 460 feet in diameter near the orbit of our planet. Such a space rock is large enough to wipe an entire city off the face of the Earth. So far, less than 50% of such asteroids have been detected and tracked. There are also an estimated 230,000 objects equal to or larger than 160 feet in size. Those are capable of destroying a concentrated urban area. And still, fewer than 8% of those have been detected. There are also tens of millions of smaller near-Earth objects. They are larger than 33 feet across and might cause some surface damage. Less than 1% of such small space bodies have been discovered so far. Now, the thing is, the inner solar system is extremely challenging for asteroid search. Each night, there are only two 10-minute windows when astronomers can observe the region. All because the sun's glare creates a very bright background glow. Plus, the atmosphere of our planet also distorts and blurs observations. Spotting asteroids in such conditions is beyond the capabilities of most telescopes. A unique instrument is needed to fulfill this task. And the tool of choice is the Dark Energy Camera at Cerro Tololo Inter-American Observatory in Chile. This device wasn't designed to hunt asteroids. Researchers built it to search for another elusive target, dark energy the mysterious force driving the expansion of the universe. The DEC is supposed to observe hundreds of millions of galaxies. That's why it's both wide and deep. This way, it can both peer deep into the universe and capture a wide field of view, which helps it record the motions of galaxies and the conditions in the early age of the universe. But it also means that the DEC is perfectly suited to spotting asteroids near the Sun. Inner asteroids are rare, and deep images are necessary because such asteroids are faint. Scientists need to be able to fight both the bright twilight sky near our star and the distorting effect of Earth's atmosphere, and the DEC can help them achieve their goal. The Dark Energy Camera was built to carry out the Dark Energy Survey, which finished in 2019. Now astronomers can direct the power of the camera towards other tasks. They claim that the DEC's survey is one of the most sensitive searches ever performed for objects near Venus's orbit and within the orbit of our planet. It provides us a great chance to find out what kinds of objects are lurking in the inner solar system. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.